Bob Menendez, the Democrat accused of atrocious corruption, has now spoken out and he demands that he be considered innocent until proven guilty. But has he afforded his political opponents the same consideration? A cornerstone of the foundation of American democracy and our justice system is the principle that all people are presumed innocent until proven guilty. All people. I ask for nothing more and deserve nothing less. The court of public opinion is no substitute for our revered justice system. We cannot set aside the presumption of innocence for political expediency when the harm is irrevocable. To those who have rushed to judgment, you have done so based on a limited set of facts framed by the prosecution to be as salacious as possible. Remember, prosecutors get it wrong sometimes. Sadly, I know that. Instead of waiting for all the facts to be presented, others have rushed to judgment because they see a political opportunity for themselves or those around them. All I humbly ask for in this moment in my colleagues in Congress, the elected leaders and the advocates of New Jersey that I have worked with for years, as well as each person who calls New Jersey home, is to pause and allow for all the facts to be presented. Sure, that's what Bob Menendez is saying now, now that he's the one facing charges. But what was his position on the fake, fraudulent, without basis or evidence accusations against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh? So, Senator, you uh, you just read the FBI background report on Kavanaugh. What are your thoughts? Well, uh, that report, if it, that's an investigation, is a bullshit investigation. The reality is that 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 is not a full and thorough investigation. Evidently, the Republicans who gave the direction to the FBI of what could be investigated was extremely limited. You don't, you know, I hear a lot about lack of corroboration. Well, you don't get corroboration if you don't talk to corroborating witnesses at the end of the day. And that obviously didn't happen here. Uh, And so uh, I'm amazed. I'm amazed that for the highest court in the land, this is the type of uh, report the FBI produces. Oh, Bob, what about innocent until proven guilty? And uh, let's not forget, he had plenty to say about Donald Trump and accusations about Russian collusion. I'm talking about the entirely legitimate question of whether Donald Trump could be compromised by the Russian government. Why does President Trump behave as though he's been compromised by the Russian government? We cannot blindly follow a potentially compromised president. I ask my colleagues to consider what the history books will say about those who knew the president of the United States might very well be compromised by a foreign power and yet still did nothing. I miss it all the innocent until proven guilty from the good senator from New Jersey. Apparently, innocent until proven guilty only works if you're the one stuffing cash and gold bars into your underwear. Now, of course, we all believe that you should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. And yes, that does extend to Senator Bob Menendez as well. But let's face it, when politics is involved, all bets are off with these guys. Bob Menendez has been accused of favoring a foreign country, Egypt, with his votes in exchange for cash and gold bars and cars and God knows what else. Here's the problem. While we knew he was under investigation for these charges, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer allowed him to still stay a senator in good standing and serve as the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee, a pretty powerful position when it comes to entanglements with foreign countries. Innocent until proven guilty is one thing, but letting the fox into the hen house and stealing all the cookies from the cookie jar and I've run out of analogies, but you get it. I mean, of course, he should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. But we, the American people, we shouldn't be presumed stupid.